I am not bad for your children, even though I'm not a role man model. There are many people who allow their children to watch me, little boys and little girls. They write me about it. And they tell me how their little kids, little boys say, Mommy, he's really pretty. And Mommy, what he says, I like what he's saying. Or I like his voice. Or I like, you know, the songs that he sings. That's innocent. It's when you start trying to demonize me and call me bad for children and bad for society that I have a problem. I'm not bad for society, even though I'm not a role model or a model citizen. I am actually really good for society because instead of hide, instead of hiding and lying and persecuting others whom are open with what they do and me secretly doing it, I chose to step out into the light. I chose to be myself. I chose to live my life celebrating both genders and both spirits within my being. Now, I find it so crazy that people can say, oh, your, your kind is not good for the kids when they allow their kids to hear all kinds of rap music and watch all kinds of movies with blood and killing and nudity and sex. But yet I'm bad for the community. Well, let me just say that's a crock of shit. But I did want to say that I'm not forcing what I do on anyone. The people that support me, the people that listen to me here, the people that watch me online, social media, they are choosing to do so. I am not holding a gun to anyone's head. And that's why I love it so much. Because I didn't have to force anybody to support me. I didn't have to force anyone to come to me or to need me or to... Come to my table. I am here and I offered myself as myself. And I just showed the world who I was. And many parts of the world embraced me. That's a blessing. There's a lot of people in this world, they're not necessarily homosexual, but they can't exactly share the most intimate parts of themselves, the secret parts of themselves. They can't share that for lack of prestige, power, whatever it is, or, or because they are in power. Either way, lack of power or because they are in power. They have to live a life that is so curtailed to whatever their agenda is. I don't have to live like that. I don't have to be one of those people whom is unhappy and sad. I'm free. Free to live. Free to be. I'm not imposing my will on anyone. A lot of people still to this day don't really embrace my lifestyle. I learned that again today, I was at the supermarket and I walked in front of a group of black people and it just got really quiet and it got really tense and the air and the energy changed. And I just continued to catwalk away. I didn't even turn around, I didn't look back. I just continued to walk away. And it bothered me that I'm still dealing with that at almost 40 years of age, but guess what? My people, black people need to wake up. They need to accept that homosexuality is not something that the quote-unquote white man introduced into black culture because it's not. There were several tribes in Africa that were transgendered, lived as women, all kinds of stuff, gay, all kinds of stuff. Homosexuality has been around and existed in the species since the dawn of time, since the dawn of man. But I just needed you to know tonight I'm not forcing myself on anyone. 
I have an infectious ability to be myself. My laugh, who I am, what I do, is what it is. And being who I am is a privilege. It's a privilege. Being able to be so free is a privilege. Because I didn't have to do be that way. I could be trapped. I could be stuck. I could be, you know, bound. But I found that having the gift of courage. Courage to stand up no matter what would happen. Whether or not I would get bullied. Whether or not I would get beaten up. Whether or not I would be bashed. I came on out here to the world. And I showed the world who I am. And what I have to offer. And though there will always be people whom whom object to what I do and who I am and where I am, how I live my life, there will be scores more whom whom accept me and love me and support me, whom give, purchase, donate to my cause. And that is an amazing thing. That is why I continue to do what I do. Because I have been met with such love, such appreciation, such honor that I would have never received had I just continued to do what I do in the comfort of my own home, off camera. In fact, me showing who I am what I do, how I live, actually brought me more success than anything in my life ever has. Me being completely 100% myself brought more success my way and more attention my way than ever before. Because when you decide to be yourself unequivocally, The world can't laugh at you. They can't laugh at you. Now, there will always be ignoramuses. But for the most part, if you own it, they can't make a joke about it. And they can't twist the screws to you or put the screws to you. Because you already know what you do. You already know who you are. You already know. And they know. So I walk around with my head held high. Because I am who I am. And the world knows it. It's nothing to hide. Now I live a very private life. Yes, I do. For as much as I'm in front of the camera. I am literally off camera a lot more. And I just, I love being able to show up both ways. When I'm on camera, I'm in a dress, I'm in a wig, I'm in makeup. When I'm off camera, I'm bald. I've got, you know, my t-shirt on, my tank top, my shorts. It's summertime. And I'm just relaxing. I I live both with both expressions, masculinity and femininity. And they are all right. They are okay. 